Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll see the next lesson in module 7, which is a lesson 3 manipulating arrays and hash tables. So, uh, basically, we know that uh, we can store uh, simple uh, values or single values in the variable, but in arrays and hash table, it allows us to store more complex data than the just a simple variable so with that uh, you know we can also complete a more complex task within our script so in this lesson we'll see how to use the arrays and hash tables so we can see some of the following objectives in this lesson like what is an array and uh, how to work with arrays and their content and then we'll see how to work with array list and their content and then we'll see how to manipulate arrays and array list and also we'll see the purpose of hash table and how to work with hash tables and their content and then we'll see how to manipulate the hash tables So first we will see what is an array. So basically an array is a data structure that is uh, you know designed to store a collection of items. So uh, we can consider an array as a variable but it contains uh, multiple values or object. So uh, you know the variable that contain a single value or useful but uh, you know to complete a more complex task so in that case uh, you know we might need a collection of groups I mean the collection of uh, items that we need to work with so in that case we can use the array where we can store you know collection of items so for example uh, uh, let us consider you know we need to update uh, the vivo ip attribute voice over ip attribute on multiple user account so in that case uh, array you know will be useful and uh, other example let's say if we wanted to check the status of a group of service in case if any service not started so to start those services we can use the arrays so when we uh, you know put uh, multiple objects or uh, values into a variable it becomes the array so how to create the array so let's uh, let's you know uh, see an example so we can create an array by providing multiple values in a comma separated list for example i'm going to create an array name called computers and i'm going to provide the value so it has to be comma separated list and the second value land dash srv1 and that value land dash srv2 okay so to display the values in the variable we can just type the variable name that would display the values or the arrays in the variable and the second uh, array that I'm going to create numbers so here I'm going to give the numbers in a comma separated list since these are numbers I'm not uh, you know putting the double quotes but if you are giving the string then it has to be double quotes and uh, for each value we have to put a comma otherwise it will be considered as a single string so to get the values just type the 
variable name. We can also create an array using the output from the command. For example, I'm creating a users variable get dash ad user and filter star. That means all the objects in the AD user. And next we will create another variable called files and use the command get child item c colon slash. So this would be all the files in the C drive. So uh, if we wanted to verify uh, whether uh, what kind of uh, you know variable type that we are using for the variable as we have seen in the previous video we can use the get type method. So for example to find um, the type for uh, files we can use get type. And we can see the base type that shows system dot array. So that means this is the array variable. We can also create an uh, empty array before uh, you know we deploy or put any content uh, into it. So that will be useful when we have a loop in the later script. So to create an empty array, we can use, for example, new users at open and close parenthesis. Next, uh, we can also, you know, force uh, an array to be created uh, while we add a single variable, single value to the variable. For example, if we just create a, you know, computers equal to land dash DC one, then it will be, uh, it will not be an array because uh, we are just, uh, you know, provided uh, only one value without any uh, comma separated with additional value. So in case if you wanted to create uh, this as an array, uh, we have to specify array and computers learn dash DC one. So now this would have created with the, you know, as an array. So in this case, uh, we can, if we wanted to add uh, any value later, also we can add it to this variable. Okay, so next we'll see how to work with the arrays. So uh, we have created an array in the previous, uh, you know, topic of, let's say uh, we created an array with some comma separated values. So now if we wanted to refer that data or if you wanted to access that value, then we'll see how we can achieve that. So uh, we can either access all the items in the array at once or we can also individually access the items in the array. So for example, uh, let us see an example. So to access all the items in the array, we can you know just type the uh, variable name and press enter. It just like uh, you know accessing the single value variable. So for example, 
we have created uh, computers right uh, so this would uh, you know give the values that stored in the variable but uh, in that in the case of uh, we need to access the integer value that is stored in the array we can also achieve that uh, by using the index number so uh, we can refer the integer items in the array using the index number because uh, when we create an array each item that will you know get assigned with an index number which start with zero so uh, let us let's say like uh, the first item placed in the array that is item zero and uh, the second item in the array that is you know uh, item one and so on based on the number of uh, you know items stored in the array we can also you know display specific item placed in the uh, you know the array using the index number in the bracket after the array name so let us see an example so we have previously created the uh, users variable so if i just type users then it would uh, display all the uh, ad user that gets stored in this array but if i wanted to display the first value or the first index that we can use it start with the zero right so we can put users and zero it will be the first value in the array that gets stored we can also add any new item to this array let us see how we can do that so for example we can put uh, users which we have created already and we are going to add a new item to this array using user one so if we assign any value to this uh, user one variable then that value will be added to this array list which is users we can also use the other way to add uh, any new item for example users plus equal to and the new value that we want to add so we can achieve this in a different way as well okay and uh, next uh, to identify uh, you know uh, the content in the array or the method that we can use using the get dash member command let we know that uh, we have seen that already so to identify the properties and methods we can use this get dash member for example files get dash member then we can see the list of uh, property and method using the get dash uh, member So this is for uh, type uh, directory info. So if there is a different, uh, you know, let us see the get dash member for users. Okay, so this is for ag user type. So based on the uh, the variable, we'll uh, get the um, the properties and method for the variable. So in case uh, if you wanted to view the properties and methods which is available for an array rather than um, you know the items in the array, let us uh, use this example get dash member. 
and here I'm going to specify input object for example files okay so this would list uh, you know the available properties and methods for an array Okay, so next we will see uh, working with array list. Okay, so by default, the array in Windows PowerShell it creates with a fixed size array. That means uh, when we add an item to the array, it actually recreated with an additional item. But uh, when we work with the uh, small array, this will not be a concern in case if you are, you know, adding thousands of items to an array one by one, then it will reduce the performance. And uh, the other concern would be in the fixed size array is removing items. So in case if you wanted to add or, uh, you know, uh, remove an item, in case uh, in that case it will be a challenge in the fixed array size because there is no simple method to remove the item from the fixed size array so to address that uh, problem you know we can use the array list because uh, the array list uh, that will function similar to an array but it doesn't have the fixed size only the array will have the fixed size array but uh, you know in the array list uh, there is no fixed size that means uh, we can you know use a method to add and remove the items so let us see an example how to you know create an array list when we assign values so we can uh, let us see and syntax for that Let me clear the screen. So we have to specify system dot collections dot array list and the variable name, for example, computers equals and um, specify the values in the double quote. For example, I'm specifying land dash DC1, comma land dash SVR1, land dash CL1. Okay, so in the array list, if you wanted to create a empty array list, and uh, later we can, you know, add the items. So, for example, we can put uh, computers equal new object system dot collections dot array list. Okay, there is. Uh, so we can create a object with any name. Let me just make it uh, relevant. Okay, so when we use an array list, you know, we can use the methods for both the uh, adding and uh, removing items. However, in the uh, these methods will fail when we try to use the fixed size array so let us see an example computers dot add land dash srv2 and uh, let's try 
CL1. And remove. Okay. So, uh, in case if you want to remove an item from the array list, we can, you know, use the index number and uh, use the remove at method. So, for example, computers dot remove at one. So before that, let's just print what is inside the computer. Okay, so we have LAN dash SRV2. So this is uh, the method available in the array list I'm going to specify one index out of range so let me put a zero because we have only one value in this array see now it doesn't show up anything okay so next uh, we'll see so we have seen how to you know work with the array list so next we'll see what is a hash table so hash table is uh, you know similar concept to an array which uh, you know store multiple items however uh, in array we can uh, you know we are using uh, it uses the index number to identify each item stored in the array but in the hash table it uses the unique key for each item because the key is a string that is uh, you know unique to a uh, unique identifier for the uh, each item that is stored in the hash table and uh, each key is a hash table that is associated with some value so for example in this table we can see there is a key and the value so the key is the, uh, let's say the host name of the computer and the value would be IP address associated to that computer. Okay, so next we'll see working with hash table. So uh, working with the hash table, which is uh, similar to working with the array, except uh, you know to add an item to hash table we need to provide both key and you know the value in the item because in the array we will just provide only the uh, you know the value but in the hash table it's uh, you know we have to provide the key and uh, the value for that item so uh, let us see an example here me clear the screen so for example if I'm creating a hash table name called the server and here I have to use the at and in the double quotes lan dash tc1 and I have to specify the value for this key I'm going to specify the IP address 172 16.0.10 and double quotes to add the another you know key and value we need to specify semicolon and the next value land dash srv1 and specify the value for this key which is the ip address i'm going to specify 0 0.11 okay let me display the server value so we can see that uh, the you know name and the value in the hash table so 
<clears throat> you can notice that uh, this uh, begins with the at symbol uh, we also already seen in the previous uh, you know module for the hash table so the key associated with the values are you know enclosed in the braces so open brace and close brace and uh, specifying the keys and value within that double quotes and uh, each item which is separated by the semicolon so to add or removing item from the hash table which is similar to the array list so here we can use the add and remove so for example the server dot add if i wanted to add uh, land dash srv2 i also have to specify the value for this key that's the ip address 0 0.12 So I am adding the SVR2 and uh, if I wanted to remove anything then I have to use the remove method and here I can just specify only the key. I don't need to specify the value here because that associated the value will be get removed. So in case if we wanted to update the value for any key that we have done already, we can, you know, do that uh, by running the following command. For example, uh, for land dash SVR2, I have updated with, uh, you know, uh, 0.12 IP. And uh, if I want to update that with a different IP, then I'll, you know, use the following command, land dash srv2 equal put the ip address here 172.16.0. so i'm going to update with the 100 so uh, as you notice that uh, we put a uh, single quotes for the key and uh, the value that is in the double quotes Okay, so uh, similarly uh, to view properties and methods for the uh, hash table, we can use the get dash member servers get dash member and this would you know list the collections of I mean the uh, methods and properties for the hash table. Okay, so that's it uh, in the uh, lesson 3 in module 7. So we'll see uh, the complete hands-on lab in a separate video. Okay, thanks for watching.